Okay, okay, we are back with more Mitski. This time we got Geyser. I've been listening to a lot of um, First Love Late Spring. A lot, a lot. It's a really good track. I, I don't remember what I rated it, but I would definitely rate it higher. Um, I love that song. Anyways, Geyser, we got a video. Let's go. Is that an organ? What the fuck was that? Am I being haunted? Don't tell me that. Was that in this? Was that, dude? That's actually part of the song. That's actually part of the song. I was just watching a video. I forget which one it was. Spoilers. It was like a Lord song. I was reacting to it and it had a fucked up noise like that. And I thought my audio was fucking up. Is it my audio if it's happening again? But it's happening at the same spot. You can't force somebody to love you. You can't force somebody to love you, man. If, I mean, I, maybe if there's like a situation where they're holding off and like, you know, you're waiting for them to get their life together to be with you, make sure they're not making excuses. Make sure they're being honest and they're willing to, you know, wait for you. Um, but dude, if if it's like a clear sign where it's like they're not, they don't want anything, don't hold on. You're just gonna hurt yourself, man. Are you good? Are she good? <laughs> was she trying to be an ostrich was she trying to be an ostrich you know trying to bury your head in the sand like just escape the world that was really cool that was really cool and one thing i noticed with like mitski i feel like um is that she struggles with being codependent which is something that i totally understand um and it's hard it's fucking hard dude it's hard but like I don't even know how to explain it. I'm obviously struggling with this myself, but I'm getting there. Miski was the first woman on earth and she got bored. So she made more people. <laughs> if she was around in the nineties, I swear she'd be a huge household name. Um, I don't want to read the big comments. Her love for music and her music career. Oh, that's what this song's about. Just her, her love for music and then her career. It's not actually about love. That's crazy. I like when artists can do that as well. But that's another thing we're thinking about, like where codependency comes in. But it's not with a relationship or a person. It's, you know, a relationship with your career. Wow. Huh. <laughs> Misky crawling on the ground in anguish, having a breakdown. Me? Haha, <laughs> I do that. <laughs> that's so funny. <clears throat> I like this. 
I like this. This is really cool. I do like how there's multiple perspectives. You can see it as like, you know, a personal relationship or, you know, a passion you have for like a hobby or something or for her, a career. Um, I think that's super cool. Her singing on this was great. I, I don't even know what it is, but she has a really cool voice that pulls me in. You feel the emotions every time. I love the build up, the freaking come crashing down at the end and everything. It was great. It was freaking great. Well made track. Two minutes and a half. I like it. Keep your delete, man. Keep what will I rate it? I like it, man. I'm gonna go eight six. I'm gonna go eight six for now. Things sometimes go go higher over time, sometimes they go lower. But to be honest, I think this one's gonna be higher the more I listen to it. So right now, man, eight six. Six song. 